you see here before us today. Hey everybody, this is Steve Rebitz from Sound Insight, and we're here today at the home of Dr. George Sacanini, the proud owner of the new Dipole 800s from BG Radio. Uh, the speakers that you see here before us today, they're pretty much a prototype that George was fortunate enough to acquire from Sound Insight. Uh, basically, we've developed these things over the past few years uh, to have the company come out with their new FS 880s. Uh, as a result of those new speakers coming out, uh, we had to make room for them. So George was in the right place at the right time and uh, picked up an amazing, amazing set of speakers that pretty much do, uh, and then some, what the FS 80s are, are going to do from BG Radio. Uh, essentially, what these speakers do uh, is they f uh, reproduce music in a very natural, dynamic way, like live music. Pretty much the speakers consist of, as you can see, six Neo 10 drivers per side, two mid-bass woofers that actually will play down uh, and measure to 35 hertz in sealed cabinets, and then there are 16 Neo 3 tweeters, and they are, are identical on each side. So essentially what we have is we have 12 Neo 10s, 30, uh, 32 Neo 3s, and four mid-bass woofers, which are 8 inch in diameter with an enclosure on the back. Uh, now, we'd also like to uh, speak to George uh, and let him tell us what he likes about the speakers, uh, and we'll introduce him right now. Hi, George. Hey, Steve. Uh, thanks very much for having us in your home and interviewing you with regard to these wonderful new speakers that you've just acquired. Um, now, could you tell us um, what speakers did you have before these? Okay. Well, if you go on the uh, MagnaPan website, uh, Wendell Dillard said when Jacob Hilgren uh, reviewed the 20.7s, he said they were the rightful heirs to the 20.1s. Well, in this house, let me tell you, these new speakers are the rightful heirs to the 20.1s. If you point the camera over to the corner, you can see the Maggie 20.1s, which I have just loved, absolutely loved, since I had, you know, since 2008. And actually, their predecessor was with the Carver Amazing Platinum Mark IVs, and their predecessors was the KEF 105.2s. So um, I feel very fortunate to, to have had you know, really excellent speakers through the years. And uh, these things here, they just they take it to the next level. I didn't think I would get much really better than the 20.1s. Those, those, those are the 20.1s in the corner? Yes, those are there? the 20.1s. And they're just, you know, they make beautiful music. They're awesome. These guys, they take it, yeah, like they say, the audio say, to the next level, to the next level. Okay, can you tell us what amplifiers are you using to power uh, the system? Uh, because I noticed that um, when I hooked up your system, we were using three different amplifiers. And I should let everybody know uh, from the outset that this is a tri -amp system, meaning that we have an amplifier or a stereo amp or monoblock amps, which individually power the mid-range drivers, so one amp powers the mid-range drivers, the other amp powers the tweeters, and then the other amp powers the mid-bass drivers that you see over here, which are the 8-inch woofers. Uh, so can you tell us what amps are powering, let's start with the tweeters, what amps are powering the tweeters? Sure, George? both the, uh, actually the tweeters uh, and the, uh, the, the mid-range drivers, they're being powered by some vintage Carver Lightstar Research Reference 2s. I think I got that right, but uh, they came out in the, in the late 90s. And uh, that's what I've been using to, to power my Maggie's. Actually, I originally got them for my, my Carver Amazing Platinum Mark IV, so I was biamping those with them. And uh, I was just always been impressed with the, uh, the transparency and yet the, uh, the, the naturalness of the, of the treble. It really, it's the most, one of the most tube-like sounding solid state amps I've ever heard, and that's why I've stuck with them through all the years. Uh, it's a very powerful amp, does 300 into uh, 8 ohms, doubles to 600 or 4 ohms, which again for the Maggie's, which is a 4 ohm impedance, it was, it was like a match made in heaven for the Maggie's. And now they're, they sound good on these two. So anyway, that's what's driving the, the ribbons. And uh, what's driving the, uh, the Neo 10s, which are these over here, the mid-range drivers? Same amplifier. Same amplifier. Is, 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 is the Carver Lightstar Research Reference 2s. Um, the yes. only different 
amplifier is for the, uh, for the mid basses. And right now I had a Bryson 4BST that we'd hooked up, but it developed a problem. We were picking up some distortion that I hadn't heard before. So, uh, because my system also does uh, multi-channel too, I had a uh, Carry Cinema 5 that I'm using a couple of channels right now to, uh, to, to power the, uh, the mid bass drivers, the bass drivers, and uh, sounds good. Sounds now, the, good. the three amplifiers that you just told us about, yeah. they're going through the Pass Labs uh, XVR1 crossover, correct? Yes, yeah, everything, everything is going through the Pass Labs XVR1, which uh, they have upgraded and um, everything is in balance, everything is, is using balanced uh, inputs and outputs. And uh, extremely transparent, extremely transparent to the point of almost being, you know, what they say, what, ruthlessly revealing. They're, they're, they're incredible. Right, and we were doing some listening before. Um, we were talking about the fact that we're not going through all those passive components that you had on your previous speakers, such as the magnaplaners or others. So the signal is getting to the speakers in a much more efficient manner rather than going through all those... Yeah, I was not mad. I wasn't by amping the Maggies. The carvers I was by amping. The Maggies I was going through the magnet pan crossovers. And they've uh, always been considered the, the weakest link for those Maggies. So, yeah, the crossover is very... It's impressive. It's impressive. Okay. While I discuss a little bit about the subwoofers, Georgia put on some music, and uh, we'll say goodbye in a few minutes. So, uh, at this point in time, I'd just like to uh, indicate that we are also using... A set of BG Radia subwoofers, uh, just which received very high acclaim from Peter Brunniger over at Capital Audio Fest. We received an award for them, and uh, they're also powered by the BG amplifier. We actually have a pair. We have one there, and we have one BG uh, subwoofer over here. Basically, they're the only subwoofers that can keep up and compete with the speed of the planers, since they're only uh, the drivers are about four inches in diameter and they're all in their own sealed inert enclosure, and they're powered by a 1200 watt uh, BG amplifier, uh, which you could see here if we pan the camera, which is right there in the rack, um, and that will uh, produce all the power that these speakers need. So everybody, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll take a few uh, seconds and listen to some wonderful music. Thank you.